Alright, I'm gonna try to run through this junk kinda quick. Yeah, hell, you know. Uh, VA, VA, you whatever the fuck. <laughs> I gave some motherfucking salutations to Lord Ganesha. You dig what I'm saying? You read that? But he is Lord of all species, beginners, and remover of obstacles. And we offer humble obediences to the archetypal devil entity. You dig what I'm saying? He is the presiding deity over astrology and knowledge. You dig what I'm saying? Because it's going to be obstacles to get the knowledge. Nigga, knowledge is power. A lot of motherfuckers don't want you to have that. But Ganesha will open the way for you and remove the obstacles and put a rope around their neck for you. I'm talking about. Yeah. So they full moon Purima, right? Um, and Leo and the star Maga. I ain't really gonna talk too much about the star. It's just this symbolism there for you and shit. Uh, I'm gonna talk about Leo though. So come with me. So that's the chart. You dig on saying that's moon chart. Ascendant is in Aquarius, Saturn, and Kendra. I am Moon Tracone. That's Shasha Yoga. That might be for another joke. Cause I might not have the time. I gotta go wash. You know what I'm saying? Watch close. Um, so that's the chart. So full moon is the outward expression of themes and intentions that was planted in the consciousness of the moon and sun during the time of Amavasya or new moon, which is where the moon and sun, the different parts of your consciousness and perception come together. Amavasya may come together. Right. So the thing with the new moon was in Capricorn. That's the intention to initiate or find a strategy. The intention to uh, gather determination and efforts towards something, right? The star Dinesh is very practical. It's a very technical star. It's the height of Mars, and it's the home of Saturn. So it's like your impulses are kind of constrained and focused towards a goal or ambition or a certain strategy that you um, exert your efforts through a particular strategy or structure, I or it's established pattern so full moon and leo outward expression of the intent to establish a structure or finding a structure and getting into a routine you dig on saying finding your ambitions and authority the outward expression moon and leo is the intent to depend upon one's self-expression and like really be the authority of something and really um you know show strength of will and character you dig on saying so we find our character and we find strength of will through having a particular strategy a structure capricorn ruled by saturn so it's some grief it's gonna be some blockages and shit like that a lot of things that you have to unlearn <clears throat> the main thing i would tell because i've been saying this but it's a boundaries saturn is in ascendant it, it, and been in ascendant for a couple months for a couple moons from this year to last year, and that's the loneliness epidemic, which last year the Surgeon General had put out the whole thing about the loneliness epidemic. People were struggling to relate because motherfuckers is having, I would say it's the counterfeit personality. A lot of your boundaries and shit that you think are your boundaries is really just conditioning and prejudices, right? And they were given to you. And, and, and it was given to you with the intent to trample over your soul. <laughs> And your emotions and all that shit. It's really meant to just fucking, bitch, you got a will? Give me that shit. Fuck is you talking about? You got peace of mind? Give me that shit. Because the will is sun and moon is peace of mind. They are enemies of Saturn in astrology. But it's only because Saturn want to purge them of all that prejudice and counterfeit personality shit. You dig what I'm saying? Your boundaries were given to you. You have to make new boundaries. Or you're going to be one of these vampires out here that, you know, they they just need a reaction. They just need somebody to kind of like, they, they, they put out negativity and they don't give a fuck if they get negativity back. Oh, you, you're you a generous person? Why wasn't you generous to me? What the fuck? Hoping that you don't have any, hoping that you haven't set any boundaries as to like being specific about who you're generous to and shit like that. So it's like, no, you're just supposed to be generous. That's unfair. It's like, nah. You're a fucking bottomless pit. You're a void. I could feed you all day, every day, and you will never fill up. No, you're a leaky vessel. No, fuck out of here. Uh, and Saturn is the the end of our perceivable 
universe. You dig what I'm saying? So he had set the boundary. It's like it's some shit out. It's some shit out there beyond Saturn. Like nigga, you won't. You, nigga, you ain't even gonna believe that shit. And Saturn is the wall, or he is that thing that kind of like protects you in a way from negative experiences. Or you could go out there past Saturn. Like, we see things with the telescope past Saturn now. So you can kind of go past whatever you think your boundaries are or whatever the established pattern is. And you might go through some hardships. You're going to go through persecution, uh, some crucifixion, some humiliation. You dig on sense, some isolation, and betrayal. Like, motherfucker going to be like, what the fuck? You think you can get past um, the boundaries that we have set for you for our benefit? <laughs> you dig on what I'm saying? So that's that. All right, uh, Moon and Leo gives the instinct to the. I was saying that. Let's move on. So in human design, there are five different energy types. Each type has an authority and a strategy. So we got Leo authority uh, and then strategy Capricorn. That's correspondence. I, I might buy, I might be about to lace you with something. Who knows? So if we follow that, it could lead us through life with ease. Then we'll have peace of mind because the thing that disturbs us is our mind. We think we're going to make decisions with our mind, but our mind keeps memories. Our mind is, has whirlpools in it of experiences that shit went wrong and shit went real right. And then we might want shit to go right in this situation that went right in that one. But these ain't even the same, but it's just a feeling. So you don't make you your mind that has no authority. It perceives things. Now, your mind can tap into, like, the supreme authority. You dig what I'm saying? Then you can kind of let go and let God, but he going to operate through the authority. All right, boom. Uh, the expression of the soul's purpose. So, this is an image. This is human design model, right? I'm going to use my cursor and shit. So, the first one, this is only full, but they got a generator and then manifesting generator is the offshoot to the generator. They just move a little bit more quicker and shit, but the same strategy, same authority applies, right? So, generator, sacred center is defined. These people got a lot of energy, powerhouse, workhorses, and shit like that. And their strategy is to wait for a response. So, a lot of times they just follow their energy and be like, huh? Or not, huh? But it'll be like, uh uh. Like you ask them, hey, you wanna go, you wanna go get some food? Uh uh. And that's that's a generator. Like if they do a lot of grunts and uh huh, uh uh. That's how they know. But they need a response, so they need outward stimulus and shit like that, right? Signature satisfaction. So when they follow their strategy, when they follow their innate authority, where it be like. Hey, do you want to do some? Or maybe they see a billboard or maybe they get stimulus just from their environment outside and they'd be like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-huh. And anything they say yes to, guaranteed they're going to be satisfied by it. Now, if anything that on that first impulse, when they check their authority and they grunt and be like, uh-uh or uh-huh, and that first instinct they say, uh-uh. But then they go with the yes afterwards, they're going to experience frustration. When they experience frustration, that's their strategy and everything telling them you really need to build. Fuck how people feel. You might disappoint people, but you got to get out of there. It's, it's killing you and you're going to be burnt out where it's like the things that a generator does is meant to give them more energy. Next one is the projector. They don't have a sacred center. They don't have no energy of their own. So they need a lot of rest. But then in the same vein, these people are, these are individuals you might meet that be like clingy as shit or needy as shit. But it's only because they have no energy of their own. So it's like they, they struggle finding good, like being recognized by actual fucking people that's not low lives and worms. So that way they can actually, you know, benefit from good energy and a more projector knows more about a person's energy. They can guide them and give them like, be like, oh, you kind of, you know, like they got to linger and wait for an invitation. That's their strategy. So a projector has got an energy where it's like you can feel them. Like if you're going through, you got a little frustration, you, you can feel them like poking all in your energy and being nosy but they kind of like like they want to ask what's wrong but if they do that and they don't follow their strategy they're going to get ignored motherfucker gonna be like bitch mind your fucking business and they gonna you know they kind of might go off but if they be like all right look i tried this shit i need help 
what you think about uh the next step in this down? That motherfucker gonna be like, oh God, you know the Lord made me. A projector gonna be like, the Lord made me for this shit. Thank you so much. So look, I've been watching you and you've been fucking up on that channel. I don't understand how the fuck you sit up there and just continue to make that same mistake. Now look, change this one thing. You got it. You dig what I'm saying? And their signature is success. So a projector of if you a projector type and you broke. Or you ain't getting shit done. You around a bunch of fucking losers. And I stand on that. You feel me? Now I'm not going to hold you. I don't know who be watching. Motherfuckers do. Motherfuckers be smitten. And then I know my energy is demanding for it. It can be a bit intimidating sometimes. And it leave an impact. So it's like a lot of shit I say going to kind of like. It's going to leave a ripple with you. Right? And I, if that bitch watching like. You know bitch get you some game. You know what I'm talking about? It's no reason. Like if you to follow the strategy, cause I'm knowing. But this is before I got this was before I really came into the human design zone. But I'm already knowing. Look, projector John Green too. I put a gypsy bitch or a genie bitch in a goddamn green chair and I bear witness, nigga, in no time motherfuckers will run over to her. She, all she had to do was wait for the invitation. I'm already over there. I initiated. That's what the manifestors do. I'm gonna get shit started. I pull the chair out, we pull the shit out. Sit your motherfucking ass right there. Stop trying to be me, bitch, and just do you. But it's the counterfeit personality and everybody. One out of every two people you meet got a fucking counterfeit personality at the chronic level or higher. It's not mild. It's not acute. This shit, like, this shit is running their fucking life. You know what I'm saying? So, not self theme is bitterness. So, that's where you get them, like, cold motherfuckers and that type shit and they... Feel me always holding grudges and shit like that. That's a projector. They get their conditioning is kind of bad, but they their energy kind of fairly new as of like the seventeen hundred. So was that like eighteenth century and shit like that? So a lot of them are uh, hit a guide and give like real good specific specialized information. But they find themselves scattered. They don't have no energy for shit. They got to go to work and they be fucking tired because they don't get no good sleep. And then a lot of the friends that they pick, they might have wanted to be friends with a decent motherfucker. But because they got to wait for an invitation, they might have sat up there and tried to press them out. And that motherfucker got creeped out and shit like that. And then they start making residence with losers. And now it's like they become the, the bitter friend where it's like. Like, I don't know. It's like the one that's getting guided instead of guiding. You're like, fuck. Uh, I feel for y'all. Manifester, that's another type. Uh, I'll say, well, this is an energy type. So this is my aura is closed and repellent. My shit dense. I'm dense as fuck. You ain't going to get through to me if I don't fucking want you to. No bullshit. Put that shit right there. Let me look at it. I ain't going to put that shit down right there. So our strategy is unnatural for us. It is to inform before acting. But our condition is so like we get in trouble just for some of the dumbest shit. Just for wanting to do like nigga might just want to like go for a walk. And it's like why you ain't telling them why you ain't going for a walk with the fuck. No, don't just wait till I get home. It's like shut the, what the fuck? <laughs> Can't nigga can't go for a fucking walk. You dig what I'm saying? You don't tell nobody that you just like I ain't I don't have to. So the manifesto got anger and shit with them. There's the only one come with the threat of violence. And sometimes it has the impact and the ripples that it leave can cause a lot of shit around them to just go to shit. Like a manifesto, if they ever have enough of it, instead of actually burning shit down, they'll just get the fuck. You'll never hear from them again. You dig on saying, and then they be in fear of the deep, because matter of fact, get deeply conditioned and shit like that, and it's always being conditioned. And then it's like it be like little bitch ass niggas that don't know themselves, or punk bitches that don't know themselves. They be wanting to like, you know, uh, control that energy that the you know manifest the energy type has and shit like that, because it's like it's rare and it's useful as shit, because it's not. I ain't. I'm just here to be at peace, right? The signature is peace. So when I follow my strategy, I'm at peace. So I tell the motherfuckers that matter, hey, look, I'm about to do this or I'm about to do that. Or, for instance, if I got an idea about some shit and I might see, like, okay, you know, this person did that and this person did that. I bet I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a hit them up and just let them know, look, I'm trying to do this, Jones, you with this shit. And I'm going to probably do it this weekend or some shit. You feel me? 
And oftentimes those individuals, whoever drawn to it with the with the manifesto, whoever's drawn to you, you fuck with them. Because a manifesto usually has good energy. It's like it's based on their fucking condition and they could be for good or bad. Like I'm Denista, uh just to put some regular astrology in there, that's a drum. So on a soul level, nigga be feeling empty and hollow as shit. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I, I do be in and out of the, the grief. Oh my gosh, the emptiness. But it's a drum because if you the drum hold a sound and it's gonna reverberate a sound. So boom, ripples, clothes repelling. So it's a drum is closed off, but the sound it boom, boom. So I right, boom. Now the Nista, cause it's Saturn and Mars very malefic. They can have a propensity possibility to be very malefic. But now it's enemy planets, bitter enemy planets and shit. So they canceling each other out. Now you get a space where a motherfucker can actually be a vessel for good and a vessel for like just initiating things, helping to create things and shit like that, initiating, leading a child. And then you got to reflect that it. it's like 1% of them, very rare, right? And they got to wait. Their strategy is to wait a full moon cycle. So they get an idea about some. They actually will benefit from just, I right, new moon. And I'm thinking, about oh, where's the moon going to be in my such and such house? All right, now I'm going to just wait for the moon to go full. And then I might have the idea, all right. Then they motherfucking act on that shit. You dig know what I'm saying? So their, to, their life is meant to be like, just sample things and just like reflect that stuff. So if thing if they in a real beautiful environment, that person just kind of starts shining more, and then they want to share the beauty with everybody else and shit like that. And they want to be surprised, like, oh my god, what the fuck? They got bees here? What the fuck? Like they'll be excited as shit. Um, and just looking for what stands out. So check this out: a re- a, re- a reflector based on their strategy, authority, and how they operate in the world like you might if we meet a reflector that's like one in every 10 people maybe um so meet them and they're going to reflect to us specific kind of things they're going to sample and then start reflecting so it's like if we actually a a piece of shit they're going to kind of be a piece of shit to us (laughs) It's like, what you going to do? Because it's like, this person is so rare. It's like, what the fuck? Man? Like, this how I, I cause you to really look at yourself. So them last two, like really all y'all, special guy, you know. So based on the energy type, boom, 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 boom. Authority gives us an impression. So authority in this instance would be like, I, got, I have a, I have a, I have a splenic authority, I believe. I have to do my own research. And rectification because I'm not a skeptic, but I understand like this the we talking about the design of things, right? Just how shit is, right? So if I follow my spleen, it's just it's real intuitive. And the spleen is kind of like an ancient ass organ. So it's not fight or flight, but it's intuition and instinct. So it's intuitive and instinctive. So I get a hunch. I used to call my shit a hunch. Like, ah, you feel me? Cause I go, huh. Or some shit like that. Like, what the fuck? And I be knowing shit like, right? It be sudden. I can't explain it. Other people, it's, it's emotional authorities. Then you might have, like, ego authorities based on their desires and shit. You know, I'm talking about, I'm only really speaking for man, right? So the authority is, is what operates beyond the mind. But our mind can get in the way of that because it could perceive the message as wrong. So we got to go beyond our mind. Use the mind as a tool just to perceive the impressions. And then the mind is also another tool where it's like if you act on those impressions and impulses and directions from your authority, you're able to, because the mind is moon, moon is measurement. So then you get to measure like, okay, how did this shit actually work out? And if it work out well, now your mind got a cool channel through the neurons, which are soma. Your neurons are soma. Your neurons get to make it more of a pathway. Now your life is a fucking breeze. You're going to go through some karma, dumbass. Ain't nobody. Yeah. Right. Where I'm at. 20 minutes. 
I want to do two parts, endless parts, but I'm not. So Leo, I'm gonna just like breathe, cause that's the right. This right here, that's the main thing. I ain't gonna bap, so we just gonna talk about Leo. Natural fifth house of the Maseroth, the vault of heaven, right? Five shows the need to create order and harmony around a central will and a strong character or sense of identity, right? So five is the house of, uh, we could kind of say authority, but like the expression of your soul, your self-expression, the thing that predominates your mind, right? So, uh, So if we put, if Leo is the fifth house, Aries on the ascendant, that means the thing that predominates the mind of Aries is them goddamn selves. <laughs> and being in charge, and being famous, and being seen as the main character. You dig what I'm saying? If we put Leo on the ascendant, Sagittarius in that fifth house, the thing that predominates the mind of a Leo is travel, God, religion, uh, generosity, and faith. So, all right, boom. <clears throat> Right. Intelligence, creativity, love affairs, romance, risk, children, shit like past life karma and, you know, prostitution and stuff is in there also. Leo is fixed fire ruled by the sun. Fix is a mode of enduring dependability and st stabilization. So fixed signs specialize in about one area and they don't do too much. They do this, not too much of that, not too much of that. They do their motherfucking thing. So you know a Leo, they, they do their thing in this area or that area. And they known for that because son is lord of own house for a Leo, right? The actions consolidate in one area. Fire is illuminated. It gives light. So it's knowledgeable and inspiring. So a Leo is smart. Uh, they're uh, courageous, they are bright, recognized, and should be inspiring. Fire is combustible, so it transforms and all that. Honey yellowed eyed is the sun, square and radiantly pure, oh twice born of pit of nature. Intelligent, masculine, but with little hair, oh twice born. That's the description of the sun. So people with like a real strong Leo in their chart and or a strong sun in their chart, their eyes going to be like hazel color. You feel me? Like a light brown, gold brown type color or just of a light color. I could kind of point some people out. You feel me? Um, what else? Square and radiantly pure. All Leos. The women more so. Of course. And that's probably because of the predominance of like Sekhmet and you know, uh, all the fierce deities that ride on like lions and shit. So, but they ride on lionesses. So, I believe. But they got like square ass jaws, square ass faces. I know somebody with um sun in their ascendant, hey, jawline, square as shit. You feel me? Leo ascendant, y'all got some square jaw lines and shit, but you, you, you know. Well, you bitches my type. Keep that to yourself. So born a pit of nature, they eat a lot. They man, they'll eat some and digest that shit. You be like and, and, and hungry again. You dig what I'm saying? Pit of nature also gives a drive towards religion and shit and being like what y'all might call spiritual. I don't like that word because a lot of people say they spiritual real goofy. Feel me? Intelligent, masculine, but with little head. So masculine in this sense, we could be they're giving in nature. You dig what I'm saying? They're giving and they're hot. Intelligent Leos are smart. You feel me? But they play vain and shit like that. What's popping? Oh, there's a Leo right here. Um, so, so son, you can turn the light off and like it's give me like five minutes. I'm gonna just finish this little record. Cool. Take your time. So, son gives his home in the sign of Leo. The natives have many of the same traits and characteristics. Son is the king of the cosmos, the heart of the divine man. So he gives Leo authority, vitality, strong sense of purpose, uh, strong sense of integrity, leadership abilities, good past life karma. Uh, it's going to be some issues. It will be some issues with like ancestral karma and shit like that. Like Leo's, Leo's feel supported, but if they don't like propitiate their ancestors enough, that's where they get to like issues in life and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? People just gonna start fucking with y'all and try and dim your light, but they gonna be there, but you gotta pull some water out and shit. Generosity, I said that, strong sense of identity, 
a sense of reverence, a love of God, ideally, sense of pride, self-concern, uh, ego, strong conviction, independence, and like it could be vanity. So a few notes about Leo. Leo possess strong sense of character. They know who they are and they want other people to recognize them for that. They respond strongly to flattery or dramatic things about their self-expression. Like, oh my God, I love, I love your head. You did it yourself? Like that shit is like that. Like even if it's fake, they kind of don't give a shit. They know they the shit, so they ain't sweating it. They like say that shit though. But in the same vein, if it's genuine, they love that shit. Lovers of attention, they like to talk about themselves and to be the center of attention. Like Leo might be like, I'm bored, I wanna talk. And then tell you to talk to them. And then you'd be like, all right, so what you wanna talk about? And they'd be like, just talk. <laughs> uh, likes to shine and dominate others, right? Good hearted sign, they suffer from too much drama or too much of a need for attention. Doesn't always do well in partnership due to a tendency to form alliances with inferiors, lames, and worms. Leo, if we look at the, I probably could pull that shit up, but I'm not going to. Matter of fact, let me be about this shit. So Leo, Sky Live, <clears throat> just show me the constellation. So Leo, we look at Leo on the ecliptic, you got the big line, right? You got Leo Major. That's what every Leo Jai like is in a way. But then you look just like up and to the right, you got Leo Minor. And then that's where it's like, I noticed it's like a lot of Leos I know early on, they be fucking with people that's like, you know, yeah, you kind of better flatter me and give me and shower me with praise and adoration, you little fucking pussy. But it don't help them because it's like you kind of associate with worms and shit like that. You feel me? You associate with motherfuckers that's like, like motherfuckers need you to be a, a symbol of leadership. But you want to lead motherfuckers that, like, where you going to lead that? Where you going to lead them? That be the issue. And some of that come, there you go, Leo Minor. The lesser lions. So they get with people that be lesser than them. Because they want a satellite. They want somebody to just hover around them and shit like that. I don't think those constellations touch. So it's like, damn, nigga get put in a real live subordinate ass situation. Where it's like, yeah, I'm fucking with you. Stay around me. But you know, don't touch me sometimes, though. For real, for real. So they might eventually rebel against them. So the tarot cards is the sixes. Six of swords, six of wands. So for the moon, it's the six of wands that represent victory. Six of wands comes after the five of wands, which represents strife. So there was a time where it was like, it was conflict. It was just bitch ass shit going on and, you know, haters or backbiters and just whatever little punk ass, um, dad cap wearing ass nigga shit going on, right? So six of wands represents a victory, a celebration, a return back to the gates after your strife, right? And that's Jupiter and Leo. So that means faith is directed towards the expression of oneself. Faith and fortune is dependent upon one just expressing themselves and celebrating themselves. You dig what I'm saying? It will be a time of rest. Six of Wands is the second deacon of Leo, which is about rest, relaxation, bed pleasures, making love, romance, all that shit, right? So, <clears throat> vital and purpose. Right. Yeah, so it's like and it's also being generous about your victory and whatever you accumulate. So keywords for six of wands, success, victory, triumph, rewards, recognition, praise, acclaim, pride, failure. It's in the reverse. A lack of recognition. So that means if you wasn't just setting boundaries, if you didn't establish a routine or a strategy or a fucking goal or something like that, then you experience a failure, a lack of recognition, a lack of achievement. I almost said shame on you, but you just didn't know. So for the sun is the six of swords. This is about science. Six of swords is a man with a woman and a child, and they going across. They in, stay in like turbulent waters, and they trying to go to calmer waters. They done already made their mind up. You dig what I'm saying? Because I think the swords is in the front of the boat. So that made all their thoughts 
and shit like that is going towards something else but in the same vein their thoughts is what's blocking them from seeing that it's karma waters ahead so this is moving on departure leaving behind creating distance accepting the lessons in the past uh, in the reverse, it could be returning to trouble, running away from problems, feeling trapped. You dig what I'm saying? So, yeah, water seek its own level. So, you dig what I'm saying? This, this, when Saturn go into ascendant for these moon phases, it's, it really be your time to grow the fuck up, change some different boundaries and shit like that. You've been letting motherfuckers trample all over your spirit and your soul for the last however fucking long. Probably 25, 28, 30 years and shit like that specifically. But, like, for motherfuckers that's younger than that and shit like that, nigga, your boundaries was not given to you. I mean, your boundaries was given to you. you they not of your own um, creation. You need to change that shit now. Or motherfucker gonna be running your dumb ass rag and you ain't gonna have nothing to give nobody. You gonna be out here like a fucking shell. All right, so Mercury and Aquarius. Mercury is communication and vocation and exchange. And Aquarius is dependent upon logic and a unique perspective or distance. So it's about learning to detach and de and depend upon breaking the mold. You dig what I'm saying? There was certain routines that was established. You gotta stop that shit, bitch ass nigga. So 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 the key jump for the area that I'm in, Shasha Yoga, it involves the placement of Saturn and exaltation or own sign and placed in one of the Kendra houses. Saturn is in the ascendant and is in own sign Mulchacon. So this bestows the blessings and teachings of Saturn. Lord Shani, and then in a way, Kala Bhairava, which is the fierce form of Lord Shiva. And you burn your ass, say fierce. He just here to destroy whatever little restrictions, whatever prejudices and conditionings that's getting in the way of your soul, nigga. So Saturn is regarded as the toughest and lowest of the planets, but also the highest of the planets for the advanced souls, or just on a higher level. He gives patience, persistence, strength, a strong sense of duty, the ability to be alone, the ability to detach, the ability to concentrate, you know, and renounce your actions. You dig what I'm saying? So, and relentless efforts. All right. Saturn in this way grants. So in this way, Saturn grants those who have been patient the reward of maturity and in a way mastery like you you're going to give off a certain um presence <laughs> more often than not because you went through some shit everybody going through some shit but it's like if you a bitch ass nigga you just keep piling this shit on stupid ass um so especially if one is taking their delays with grace and persistent regardless, Saturn is thought to be the most base and he represents the root chakra. The root is the foundations, but it's also an open center. So it's always exerting and receiving pressure. Those pressure come from outside. That pressure comes from society. That pressure comes from the threat of survival or like nature and the forces of nature. That threat comes from trying to uphold uh, false convictions and a counterfeit personality like it's a lot of shit go on right so it manifests stress and fear or failure traumatic situations and all that shit sabotaging things da -da 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 -da. so saturn is the planet of this center it shows that it's a need to establish boundaries in ourselves and around us so that we could kind of limit that nature of that base influence because like here's the cue money is just money and shit like that and all this like a lot of material shit is the synagogue of satan like you want to accumulate that shit and hoard it and that's one of the that's one of the sins for saturn or the shadri pools it's, it's that greed it's like you know you don't need that or you don't need this and shit like that but you got a desire for it why because you need to uphold and give your tithings to the synagogue of satan you dig what i'm saying that really what they speaking about in that zone. Because the, when they talk about the seven churches in Revelations, that seventh, one of those seven churches is your root. It's the root center. The synagogue of Satan. Like, oh, I need to get money. I got to. How you get money? We go to war because niggas got resources and shit like that. And then it's free labor and shit like that. Especially when they come to. We're going to rebuild these people and shit like that. But no, nah, we just going to put their kids to work because we can't breed slaves anymore. We can't breed slaves anymore because the niggas was fighting back and shit like that. But, you know, we can, we can get it done. AI. You feel me? So, Shasha Yoga is described as being a wandering leader of free spirit. Inclination, remote areas, mountains, forts, wilderness, 
feel me? An ordinary person with ordinary objectives, but they give all the presence of a leader. I right, fuck with me, right? They like to host parties and invite people to their homes. I'm not inviting nobody to my homes for this next two and a half weeks, but I will invite a motherfucker to Discord, and then we can watch movies on that motherfucker. Nigga, these little niggas is hitting me. These little niggas is brilliant. Um, expertise, intelligence, and... Yeah. All right, fuck all that. Let me see this next one. Great man of early nature. Rabbit-like because Shasha means rabbit. So the next two and a half weeks, motherfucker gonna be running around trying to get shit done. Doing a whole lot of shit. But then, rabbits like to fuck. Like rats do. And because the moon and Maga, Maga has the rat yoni, rats have sex like 600 times a day if they want during mating season. So they get it in. So, you feel me? Understand motherfuckers gonna be trying to get it in. But in the same vein, what was that nigga saying? I was watching something and he was saying like, it's a, it's a herpes culture out there. So it's like, it's, it's, it's tricky. Because even if motherfuckers ain't carrying shit, they real like carrying shit. Like motherfucker might be a vampire and they just going to drain the shit out of you. And you thinking you just fucking and going to be the man or some shit like that. Lame ass nigga. You feel me? Uh, Sabian symbols. I'm about to finish this up. I got my bad. It's developing social skills. Shallow social courtesies become necessary when we attend. So it's moderating our self proclamation. All right, nigga told me I talk too much because, you know, when I see some shit, I be speaking on that. But mm, I was like, yeah, maybe I could learn some moderation. So that's what that's about. Like whatever you do too much of socially and then motherfucker kind of turn on you about, you probably should do a little bit less of that. And then the position for the sun is we are not all equal. However, spiritually inspiring it may be to think that we are all of the same worth and level of attainment. The truth is that it is not so self-examination and improvement. And that that's important because it takes place in Aquarius, which is a sign about the collective involvement. That's true because the white boy, they'll put on that constitution like all men are created equal, but then breed certain people to be slaves. Make that shit make sense. But then also, if you can, if you go in life thinking that, oh, yeah, we all equal, you're going to think you don't never need no fucking help. <laughs> That's dumb as shit. You really, if you, if you carry that logic, like, oh, yeah, we all equal, I could do that, no, 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 you're going to be, you're going to start carrying the spirit of envy, which is going to force you to start coveting shit, which is going to make you hate motherfuckers and want to do, do dirt. And then you're not going to want to ask for help. You're going to want to take everything from somebody and shit like that. And you're going to be a lame ass nigga. You feel me? You're going to wear fucking tight ass dad caps and shit like that. Like, oh, I wish the fuck. 